Hello, it's been a minute since I've made a video, so without delay, I'll go to my first piece, which is already on the screen. Uh, the first three pieces I'm going to show you, I never really thought of putting them all three in one video, which I should have before now because I don't see too many two-piece ancient rock art pieces. And the other thing about it is they were all found, I would say, within 100 yards of each other. Uh, two of them look similar in period, and the third, I think, looks different from the other two. You'll see what I'm talking about. The third, I feel, is more of a Lenape piece. Uh, the Lenape were very prevalent in New York prior to, I don't know if you want to say, being relocated to New Jersey by the Dutch, but I believe a lot of the work I find in this area had some relation to Lenape, be it stone tools or otherwise. But this piece I find interesting. It took me, I had picked up the two pieces separately at two different times. And then I was sitting in here and just messing with positioning. And then I realized that they went together. Nice piece. The second one I'll show you is again from the same area of Pelham Parkway. This is the base. And along the edges, there are these type of cutouts. And this piece, I'll show you slots in here, here. Let me position it. So you can see, okay, this lower edge on this side. We'll slide in in different ways. Okay, that's one head position. And you can see even the colors somewhat blend. Another head position being closer. Okay, that one's there. Next, I'll show you the piece that I really feel may be related to Lenape. Earlier on, I thought it might be a little bit older, but after now understanding how ancient and how, how long the Lenape were here in New York, I do believe it is a piece that is related to them. And looking at some of their art, Hopefully you can make out an eye in this area. And then a nose. This is why I like to work indoors. I can move the shadows a little bit easier. And again, it's a two-piece. And it's amazing that I didn't drop it or break it when I picked it up because the top was stuck on. And when I picked it up, I probably picked it up like this, not realizing it was two pieces. But as I was holding it, the top part loosened. Now, there are different positions for this as well. to see see if you can spot the images on the surface like here they are plentiful in the middle area
think I'm gonna show you some more or some of my more recent finds. I was torn between just making a video showing these three, but I have some other pieces I'll share. Uh, let's see, I have a few scepter-like pieces. Put that one here. We'll put this one here. Oh, I'll run with these two for now. But this, I really, really hope some of the, the crystal comes through. Turn it horizontal. You get your face here. Similar shape. You notice the bottom comes to a point. Grab the other one back for a second just for a comparison. This one looks real interesting. Haven't quite made out what it is yet. Maybe we'll see some things together under the under the light of the camera. Okay. But it's a, it's it's a beautiful piece for me. Recent fine Bronx. Has some weight to it. Again, possibly a stone that was painted or either turned black at some time, at some point. see the faces on the edges another recent find so there you go it's your eye this in This is an older piece, but for the sake of people that haven't seen my earlier videos, if you're into glyphs and symbols, this was a Long Island find. One of my 
my first pieces. Look at the symbols, glyphs. I get a lot of imagery out of it. But in my other videos, you'll see hopefully a lot of things that you kind of don't see that often. Let's see another recent find. I think the edges there's, I believe that's an idea. Let's position. Okay, there you go. Or you can turn it this way. Something in this area as well. And here. I'll keep turning. Getting images in this area. Uh, let's find a water bottle. I have some stones. Let's spray it, see if it brings out the changes in coloring. Outside of the banding, you'll see these white areas. This one's interesting. More markings. And this a little differently themed and obviously shaped. Even when I think I'm making a fast video, it still takes time, but I really think I'm flying through some really interesting things. So, here's another piece that, very crusted, but I believe another bird type symbol. It's okay if you see something different because I definitely have more than one image. And with the positioning and the shadowing, getting images along here, this area. And this has a couple positions I c it can be shown in. Let me spray it a little bit for you.
So I think instead of making this one longer, I'll make a second video. So thank you for tuning in. Talk to you soon.